Cataphatic theology or cataphatic theology is theology that uses positive terminology to describe or refer to the divine, specifically, God, i.e. terminology that describes or refers to what the divine is believed to be, in contrast to the negative terminology used in apophatic theology to indicate what it is believed the divine is not. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Topic. Cataphatic comes from the Greek word cataphasis, cataphasis meaning affirmation, coming from kata kata an intensifier and phani phani to speak. Topic. Terminology Topic. To speak of God or the divine cataphatically is thought by some to be by its nature a form of limiting to God or divine. This was one of the core tenets of the works of Pseudo-Dionysus the Areopagite. By defining what God or the divine is we limit the unlimited. A cataphatic way to express God would be that God is love. The apophatic way would be to state that God is not hate although such description can be accused of the same dualism. Or to say that God is not love, as he transcends even our notion of love. Ultimately, one would come to remove even the notion of the Trinity, or of saying that God is one, because the divine is above numberhood. That God is beyond all duality because God contains within Godself all things and that God is beyond all things. The apophatic way as taught by Saint Dionysus was to remove any conceptual understanding of God that could become all-encompassing, since in its limitedness that concept would begin to force the fallen understanding of mankind onto the absolute and divine. Topic. Eastern Orthodoxy Topic. In the Eastern Orthodox Church cataphatic theology is critical in the developmental stages of contemplation see theoria. Once a firm grasp of the positive attributes of God or the divine has been achieved one moves on to the transcendent qualities of the superior or at least the corrective apophatic theology. Topic. Roman Catholicism Topic. The Life of Moses, Gregory of Nyssa Saint Augustine Anselm of Canterbury Topic. Cataphatic treatment of ultimate reality in Buddhism Topic. Within Mahayana Buddhism, there is a species of scripture which essays a descriptive hint of ultimate reality by using positive terminology when speaking of it. This manifestation of Buddhism is particularly marked in the Dzogchen and Tathagatagarbha forms of the religion. Nirvana, for example, is equated with the true self of the Buddha pure, uncreated and deathless in some of the Tathagatagarbha scriptures, and in other Buddhist tantras such as the Kunj Gyalpo or All-Creating King. Tantra, the primordial Buddha, Samantabhadra, is described as pure and total consciousness, the trunk, foundation, and root of all that exists. Topic in Gaudiya Vaishnavism Topic Gaudiya Vaishnavism speaks positively about transcendental qualities of Krishna. He has 64 transcendental qualities as supreme personality of Godhead, although these qualities are explained as non-material and beyond duality. The paradoxical nature of Krishna, the Absolute, being both beyond description and having qualities is discussed throughout the Gaudiya Vaishnavism literature. Among the 64 qualities of Krishna, four qualities are unique, which only Krishna has, these are, he is the performer of wonderful varieties of pastimes, especially his childhood pastimes. He is surrounded by devotees endowed with wonderful love of Godhead. He can attract all living entities all over the universes by playing on his flute. He has a wonderful excellence of beauty which cannot be rivaled anywhere in the creation. There are other sixty qualities of Krishna, but Narayana also have them. Of these, five are special, which are not found in Jiva Atmas or according to the Vaishnava view, other Hindu deities, even Brahma or Shiva, he has inconceivable potency. Uncountable universes generate from his body. He is the original source of all incarnations. He is the giver of salvation to the enemies whom he kills. He is the attractor of liberated souls. Other 55 transcendental qualities are found in Brahma and Shiva, though they are common for Narayana and Krishna, but not found in Jiva Atmas. 
And finally just 50 transcendental qualities can be found in Jiva Atmas, who are not on the level of deities, but Krishna and Narayana also have these qualities. It also has to be carefully noted, that these qualities manifest in Jiva Atmas only in minute qualities, and only if they become pure devotees of Krishna Caitanya. On other hand, Krishna has these 64 qualities in full. See full list here, 64 qualities of Lord Krishna. But once a firm grasp of the positive qualities or attributes of God has been achieved one moves on to the transcendent qualities of the superior apophatic theology. This is fully absent in Gaudiya Vaisnavism. Topic see also topic Theosis Eastern Christian Theology Vladimir Lasky topic Notes topic topic Bibliography topic Vladimir Lasky The Mystical Theology of the Eastern Church, SVS Press, 1997. ISBN 0-913836-31-1 James Clark & Co. Ltd., 1991. ISBN 0-227-67919-9 Pseudo-Dionysus The Areopagite The Divine Names, 